for this episode of Depraved and the Botrys, I'm not going to be using anything more. And while I'm doing this recording, I'm going to be clicking through Tinder. I just went ahead and bought myself another pres- uh, subscription for a month. I do this once in a while. I've been banned a number of times because one of the things that really I hate about t- Tinder for the most part, dating honestly has been destroyed by twi- by Tinder. I'm just going to make that point real clear. But when I look and I think of all the beautiful women that are on here that have been, I mean, manipulated. Talk about the pure manipulation of thinking this method is a great way of finding good people online. Now, certain people are going to find each other and, you know, you're going to find particular other partners that you want to go and sleep with them. I mean, how many serious relationships come from Tinder? When I look at the profile pictures, the women on here, you know, nothing bad about it, but you could tell they're putting out the sexiest possible pictures to grab attention. It is all that it is. It has nothing to do with anything else, but that's what the point is. The other point is, is that this has become the most end all be all place to go to meet anybody. And I look and I say, there was a time when there was a little bit of prudishness with the women out there that would have thought, well, Tinder, I'm never going to go on there, but they all are all of them. And then I also wonder how many of these particular pages are bots. Like one thing I was did was I went on the free trial, you know, the one that I give you where you get to go ahead and like maybe like a hundred likes or a hundred chances of swipe. And then they stop you for 12 hours. So I did that. And then I got back on here when they gave me a discount. I was like, okay, I'll get on here and see what happens. And when I get on here, I say to myself, it's not like I necessarily see, I mean, there's women that are attractive, but I mean, at my age also, I'm thinking, well, what kind of spending am I going to have to make for a girl that's on Tinder? The kind of attention that she gets that she thinks is good attention or quality attention on Tinder. And these are the things I think about when I go ahead and click through all these different profiles. I don't know if you can hear the clicking as I do this, but I'm looking here and I really don't see anything special. I mean, in particular that you're never going to find marriage material here. Let's just be honest right off the bat. You're going to find hopefully who you want to date. Sure. But otherwise that, no. And then the other thing too is that some of the things that are thought of that are beautiful now these days that have changed. The the thing I'll tell you this, with Tinder, you have to have a certain look. Because I notice on this right here, I see very little thick or voluptuous or BBWs at all. They're not on this anymore. They've all been replaced. And I can tell you that a number of the women that I see on here too have I mean, they really have to put themselves together to put the best possible picture up. So much makeup, so much in terms of accessories and things to put their best picture forward. Like you're not getting anybody coming on just slumming on it. They're really putting the best effort forward. But we know that a woman, when you meet her, you're not going to just see her just like that all the time. Especially when you go out to a club. You don't know what she's going to look like after all that. I mean, you're talking about some women that are, they on purpose put a good picture of themselves, even in a casual look. They're doing their makeup, but it's like not action photos. It's just selfies and being done in a particular way where you're never going to see them looking that way in particular. And if you do, they're so posed and so, I mean, choreographed that it's impossible to think there is anyone out there that really looks, you're going to see some of these women in real life. And the truth is I look and I say, there's not that many out there. I mean, it used to be a thing where I used to be on online dating where you'd meet girls that you'd see on here and you're like, oh, I recognize that girl. You don't get that much on Tinder either. And I just look and I say, man, I don't know how everybody does this now these days. You can't, sometimes you can't even, and this is not a knock, but I'll tell you, you look at this site and Badoo and okay, Cupid and other places, when there are people on profiles, you can't even detect if they're a man or woman. Like, you don't even get the chance to find out if they're trans or not. If you want someone that is, you don't know. And I don't know, maybe some people feel different about it, but I just look at that and I say, man, it's really tough to go ahead and detect somebody. And not to mention all the different women that are on these sites that are from different countries. 
whether it's from Thailand or Kenya or Uganda or Dubai or, or whatever there is, some other European country. Like there's so many of those over here too. You can't keep in touch. Plus, they never make a control as to how you know somebody is in a particular location and you can tell because all these sites now are infiltrated by all these things going on. So you got that going here and I just look and I'm just, I'm dismayed. I don't even know why I go on these sites anymore. And I don't know how anybody can still do it, but I'd love to hear some experiences for some of you in the audience that go on Tinder on a regular basis. And you say, you know what? I'm going to get on here. Let's see what happens. Like even with some of the pictures I see, you rarely see any particular landmarks that are familiar or any particular places look familiar. So you wonder how many of these pictures were taken on vacation or in particular places where it was like a wedding or this and that. It's like the most impossible idea that a woman's going to look exactly as they do in their profile picture and that's exactly who you're going to go out on a date with like it doesn't happen that way unless they're models and they have just a certain way where they just get themselves put together and it's consistent but i don't see that and i look here and i'm like i don't believe it so keep that in mind if you're going on the tinder you're looking on here and you're thinking there's a chance you're going to meet somebody this is complete clickbait. Like, this is where kick clickbait really came from, was this right here. Well, before they talked about, you know, the media and news, that's where it came from. But now, this is all clickbait. Tinder is where online dating ends. It's the end of the trail of online dating, the death of online dating. And that's why I'm titling this show, The Death of Online Dating Ends at Twitter, at, t at Tinder, excuse me. I can't even help by saying that. But it is. And then the question is, where are you supposed to meet people then? Are you supposed to just go ahead and sneak onto Instagram and DMs and slide in that way and that's the only way? I mean, are people still meeting in a, in a real traditional physical fashion? That's the other question too. Well, remains to be seen if there's a change. But for the women out there, I feel sorry for you. If it's become very difficult to find somebody and you're still single, you know, part of the reason might be of what you're doing to get yourself attention that a lot of guys are not going to want it. If you are a thirst trap on Instagram or TikTok, or you got an OnlyFans page or Patreon or whatever you got, and you're just changing it up, well, it's not going to work well. And because of that, you might also get caught yourself in a spot where you might get manipulated or find a guy that might just turn out to be very toxic to you because they're a fuck boy and they don't want anything more than just to fuck around. And that's it. So be very careful. Be very aware of this. I hope you'll all consider that. That's my thoughts on Tinder. The death of the online dating ends at Tinder. Believe it? Count on it. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Come back for another depraved and debaucherous because we are, are a little D&D. &D.